Hello. This sound is also a Picasso. Well, kind of. The fancy-looking machine is an old oscilloscope from the 1980s. Oscilloscopes look complicated, but in essence they're very simple. Here's how they work. The display is just a dot that gets moved by electricity. If you move the dot fast enough from left to right, the dot becomes a line. If a line has a shape, we often call it a wave. Turning a wave into an electrical signal and sending it to the speaker turns the electricity into a sound. You can send that same electrical signal to an oscilloscope, which turns the electricity into something that you can see. This is what my voice looks like when the same signal that is going to your speaker right now is viewed on the oscilloscope. If you've got two waves, you can turn them both into an electrical signal. You can send one signal to the right speaker and the other signal to the left speaker. You can also look at them on the oscilloscope by letting one signal determine the horizontal position of the dot and the other determine the vertical position. If both the signals are identical, then the shape is pretty boring, just a diagonal line. But when the signals are different from each other, like on a stereo music track, then the picture gets much more interesting. This is a snippet of Shaker Fist by Hot Chip. Before we go any further, I'd like to show you all a game I made up. This game is called Sounds of the Studio. The chaotic looking displays because the signals that go to each speaker are very different, so the dots all over the place. Here's a clever bit. If you look at two carefully chosen signals on an oscilloscope, the dot will trace a picture on the screen. Played through speakers, the signals will also make a sound. Here's a pair of signals we've made using the brilliant open source program Aussie Render by James Ball. And that's how the sound is also a Picasso. When you view the signal that makes the sound on an oscilloscope, you can see a copy of a line drawing by Pablo Picasso. So pictures can describe sounds, and sounds can describe pictures. There's a genre of music called oscilloscope music. The artists make music that also create visual effects when viewed on an oscilloscope. This is some of Jerobeam Fenderson's oscilloscope music. And that's it. Links to the things we've used are in the description below. Thanks for watching.